Hey everybody, it's Missy Wolf. We're back at CMA Fest 2018 and I'm sitting here with Matt Rogers who already has me in stitches. How are you? Hey, what's up? Good to see you again. <laughs> I love that you are here. How is your CMA Fest so far? Man, it's going great. It's going mm -hmm. great. This is my, my busiest year, so I'm real excited. Uh, yeah. this, it's always fun to be a part of this stuff anyways, you know? Right. This is like the electric time through, through the whole city. You just feel the energy is palpable so yeah. it's fun to be a part of it as a fan as an artist as, as all of it so i'm so glad that you said that as an artist you are still a fan of other artists 100 percent. it's it's so is there an exciting part of cma fest for you like is there one part that you just look forward to more than the rest uh, i think that changes uh, on a daily basis uh, <laughs> you, you know it's it's cool because you know you end up becoming buddies with a lot of these guys yeah. And uh, getting to see some of your friends play and see them show out, and it's just, it's great. I mean, a lot of times we're all on the road all the time, mm -hmm. so you don't ever get to really see each other play unless yeah. you're maybe on a festival or, or something together. So it's yeah. cool when you're all in town, you get to hang out afterwards, yeah. it's kind of relaxed after everyone's kind of done with their show. You can have a beer and catch up and do everything yeah. like that. It's a lot of fun. It's fun. Now, do you, do you end up scheduling a lot of, like, writing sessions with people because I've I've been seeing that a lot where people get together they haven't seen each other in a while and it's like yeah we should get together and write we should do this Does that just just book two of them in the green room See? I mean it's, it's one of those situations where you don't maybe you haven't seen somebody in six months or a year even mm -hmm. last year at the green room you know um, so it's good to connect it's like hey man let's get something on the books when are you in town when are you in town kind of day yeah I love that and everybody is so friendly and I remember my very first CMA fest in the media room which was last year um, I was so nervous and you'd see all these people walking by these stars that you don't know and then this year they're like oh hey what's up how's right. it going and I'm like right, wow right. you know it's it's really fun everybody is so relaxed and it's just and they're energized ready for those fans so have you had any of those fan moments yet where people have just said something to you or you know made you just feel wow that I, that just made me feel really good well it's cool when you uh you know I was in a did a lot of signings last year and was, was up at Fanfare a lot. So uh, met a whole bunch of new folks and, and kind of spread spread my uh, brand of country out there, get some mm -hmm. album sales, you know, and, and right. uh, merchandise and stuff like that. Well, I have a whole bunch of people that have commented on our social media, hey, where are you going to be this week? We're coming back. We can't wait to see you. So uh, a lot of them have already kind of reserved on the CMA website, on the two stages I'm playing, that they're going to come see us and stuff like that. And that's see? that's what it's all about. You want yeah. them to, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you hope they like you and everything like that. But it's about the music and, and you want yeah. them to, to relate to the songs that you've written and, and the things yeah. that you're doing. And hopefully they enjoy that. So uh, looking yes. forward to performing for some of them. Absolutely. Now, I know you have to be performing in the richest place on earth. Right? That's right. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and absolutely. you guys here, so you know what it is. There you go. Can you see it? There. Tells it right. <laughs> um, so I hear you have some information or some news about that music video. Yeah, we just mm -hmm. released a brand new music video for Richest Place on Earth. Um, that's my probably my favorite song I've ever written. I wrote it by myself in the truck between Atlanta and Nashville. It's a personal story about you know, uh, you know, leaving a full time job and making Georgia, coming up here and chasing this dream, and. Um, you know, it, uh, the video is real special to me as well because the song being that important to me, I wanted the video to be as important, if not more. So uh, we filmed it 100% in my hometown of Eatonton, Georgia, with a 100% Eatonton, Georgia natives and 100% Eatonton, Georgia film crew. So uh, it's all hometown, and uh, that's that's what I tell tell them all the time when I get to go back home and play them or meet people. I say I just want to make my family and my hometown proud. There you go. So uh, that's what I hope hope we did with this video. I'm real proud of how it turned out. I'm sure you have made them all so very proud. And where can fans find you? Uh, MattRogersCountry.com. Uh, I've got links to all my social media there, tour dates, merchandise, any and everything you could ever want to know about me is probably <laughs> there. But uh, Matt Rogers Country on all social medias as well. But uh, if you just go to the website, MattRogersCountry.com, there's little icons there. Click them, takes you right there. There you go. Easy follow, easy check out what we're doing, and we'd love to see you. So no excuses. No follow excuses. Follow him, send him a message. <laughs> and right. until next time, we'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.